So today I'm actually going to show you an example of how bacteria is in our everyday lives. So you'll remember that bacteria are types of cells that do not have a nucleus. So this should make them a prokaryote. So if you look at your container of yogurt, for example, we have a symbol on the yogurt container that says contains live and active cultures. So what live and active cultures means is that there are actually real life bacteria in this container. So not all bacteria is bad for you or makes you sick because we eat yogurt, it's pretty good for you. So I'm actually going to make, um, I'm in the process of making some homemade yogurt. So that's what I have in here and this, it's being kept nice and warm because bacteria need a nice and warm place to stay. Um, but all you need to do is you need to put some of the bacteria that's in here, put a scoop of your yogurt in, lots of layers here, in a container that's filled with some milk, okay? So I put milk and yogurt in here. And then, the reason we need to keep it nice and warm is because bacteria, in order to reproduce, in order to reproduce, bacteria need a nice warm environment so they can more, make more and more bacteria. So this is just regular milk with one scoop of bacteria, but those bacteria are going to make the milk thicker and thicker. So you can already see, this doesn't really look like milk anymore, does it? It's much thicker, and the longer I leave it in there, the thicker it will get. It's turning into yogurt. So that's how we use bacteria in our everyday lives, to turn milk into yogurt, and it's happening in this container right now. Pretty cool, huh? We're going to leave this here for a bit. And um, we'll come back later and see if the yogurt is done. So first, you got to just tuck this in here. So we'll come back later and see how the milk or the yogurt and our bacteria are doing. So here we are, we are back. Now it's several hours afterwards and our bacteria have been busy turning that milk into yogurt. Um, so let's see exactly what we have. Put that in there. Have a little bowl. And as you can see, much thicker this time. So let's actually serve ourselves a bowl of this homemade yogurt. I'm going to put some honey in it to sweeten it up because bacteria make it into yogurt but they certainly don't make it, they don't add any sugar to it. We have to add that ourselves. Just mix that up. Let's see what it tastes like. It's kind of weird that it was warm. <laughs> but otherwise, really good. So, bacteria, prokaryotes, why not eat them? <laughs>